You can follow me on Twitter. The Twitter name is that one, Martin Stanford. Now the debate's getting the most buzz online today. One of the most discussed stories is a call by four former heads of the army for political extremists like the BNP to stop promoting themselves by using the armed forces. The generals have written a joint letter as part of a campaign called Stolen Valor. Now it's been backed up by veterans, including the Gulf War veteran Andy McNabb, who've posted videos online. When I get to think about the BNP and certainly Nick Griffin, it angers me that he's taking something that I value a lot, the British Army, and he's using it to his own ends. Nick Griffin talks about the battle for Britain. Well, let's have a look at it. I don't think he realises that some of those guys that were flying the Hurricanes and the Spitfires across London were Sikhs, were Chinese, were Poles. That's why we won the Battle of Britain. And actually, as a country, that's why we're so good. Because we've got such a good mix. And Nick Griffin doesn't get that. As a political party, all I think the BNP are promoting is racism. And as for their values, well, they don't have any. In my opinion, there's nothing that is British about the BNP. Well, Maurice Cousins is from the website nothingbritish.com, which has organised this campaign. Maurice, why the need to put this site out there now? Well, we've had a general, we had a European election campaign back in June. The British National Party did extremely well uh, uh, by getting, by getting two, two NEPs. And part of its campaign was to use uh, the military as a, to, to deliver respect to its campaign. And this angered a lot of people, particularly in the armed forces, and we seek to, to address that. OK, but why? Is, that seems a long delay between the cause and the effect, or the effect and the cause. I well, mean, why now? Is it anything to do with the fact that the BMP is due to be on a BBC programme on Thursday? Well, no. Um, if a lot of our research took a long time to gather, it took a four-month period, it took a four-month investigation to be able to do it. Um, and we decided to choose this day in the run-up to, commem to uh, Remembrance Day. And uh, it just so happened that the day that we chose was a couple of days before question time, but we decided to go ahead with it anyway. OK, well, now, Nick Griffin has been speaking about this to media outlets, including Sky News Today. This is what he said during his interview this morning. I think they should stop worrying about the British National Party and what we do with a Spitfire, which is an image which has nothing to do with them or the British mo modern British military. My father serviced radios on Spitfires during the Second World War. Why shouldn't we use that image? They should concentrate on dealing with the fact that our boys are being sent into places like Afghanistan, into struggles that are nothing at all to do with us, ill-equipped, sent there to be murdered by the Br British Labour government. That's the issue they should address. Well, there's a lot for you to try and answer there, Morris. He's saying that uh, he's perfectly OK to use the Spitfire image because his father serviced the radio on that. He believes that the Afghan war had nothing to do with the British people, that troops were badly equipped. He mentions a lot of issues. What do you, how do you respond? Well, well the first one, you know, that his father served uh, in the RAF, his father obviously was a very brave man, but it doesn't give Nick Griffin the right to be able to use a symbol that was there to fight fascism and for him to then use it to promote his brand of politics. Uh, so the, the, uh, well, I mean, there's various other issues. He, he argues as well that the Afghan war is an unjust war. Um, he goes on. Well, I mean, let me, let me bring in an argument which he then brings on the, uh, on the uh, BNP website this afternoon, which, again, I'm finding difficulty just getting up, actually. We're not having much luck with our websites today. But the essential argument, he seems to think that these um, generals, recently retired, could be guilty of war crimes um, because he believes what the Labour government did was unlawful, did, it was unlawful both in Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, I'm, I'm not an international uh, lawyer, so I wouldn't be able to answer on that. But I, I have seen the remarks made by the British National Party about uh, some of the bravest generals in our, in our country today. And to sort of compare them to the Nazi war criminals at Nuremberg is laughable. Uh, these people have not orchestrated uh, uh, you know, genocide uh, to promote an, a racist ideology like the Nazis did. I mean, it's absurd. They were promoting liberal democracy, not going around uh, trying to install uh, Nazi regimes. Well, despite Mr Griffin's appearance on Sky News earlier, we did invite them on to talk about this particular issue and some of the comments they've made. Uh, they declined that offer, saying they consider your organisation, your website, nothing British. Uh, they don't consider you a bona fide democratic organisation. They say it's just a front for the Tory party and the Conservatives should do their own dirty work in public. Are you a front for the Tory party? Absolutely not. We, although some of us are members of the Conservative Party... You're a member of the Conservative Party? I am, yes. Tim Montgomery, your yes. co-sponsor, is a member of the Conservative Party? Yes, yes. And, and so indeed, it's entirely 
run by the Conservative Party? No, it's not. I mean, we, 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 uh, our campaign attempts to sort of get beyond party politics and to reclaim the, uh, the, the use of our armed forces for party political propaganda and to, to promote you know, gentle British values of you know, tolerance, fair play and respect for one another and to address the sort of the concerns of ordinary people out there who are frustrated with the current political climate in this country and they have genuine bona fide concerns. Thank you for coming on to talk to us anyway. Morris thank Cousins, you, Martin. Thank you very thank much you. indeed. Bye-bye. Now, the stories you've been searching for on the Sky News website today, the fifth most searched term today is, or the fifth most common search term, is Michael Jackson, the release of new clips of the singer rehearsing for the tour that he never got to perform. The fourth most common search term is BNP, as we've just been discussing, those four army heads um, writing their open letter attacking far right-wing groups like the British National Party for trying, as they say, to hijack the armed forces. The third most common search term term on the site today is Royal Mail. The company is continuing to talk to union leaders in an attempt to avoid postal strikes. The second most common search term is Baby Train. The interest continues on this remarkable footage of a baby whose pram just tipped into the tracks there. The baby was absolutely fine. And the most popular search term on the Sky News website today, Stephen Gately, following the controversy over an article about the Boyzone singer's death. Well now you can comment on that story and that list.